I welcome you to my another video about tools. Kybeats company that focuses on measurement instruments has contacted me and kindly sent me two multimeters for review. Let's then thank them for uh, we can have a look at something new and gain more experience in the world of measurement tools. These multimeters are Kybeats HT118A and Kybeats KM312A. Kaiweeds have their own e-shop with their own warehouses. For me, uh, they send it from Germany to Czech Republic. Uh, they will even send you invoice in case you wanted it for a company and it comes handy to lower your taxes. Uh, they also offer three years warranty, which is unusual, but great. Because, for example, if you buy from AliExpress, you have like a month, I believe, and then good luck, it's your problem now. Now to the topic, Kaiweeds KM312A. The box has nice graphics. I would personally restrain from uh, such bold statements, but that's rather normal today. Second side shows contacts for representatives. Nice. Bottom side has illustrations and uh, wait, Strommesgerät. That means a current measuring device, I believe. I would rather see Spannung or Multi here, since this multimeter doesn't measure Strom or current. Leads that come with this multimeter are smaller than usual, but uh, they quite fit the dimensions of the multimeter. There were also two AAA zinc carbon batteries, which I placed in the device. Manual is in uh, German, French, Spanish, it, there is no English. Never mind, let's focus on what we are here for. So it's 21. Yes, 0.5% uh, accuracy for DCV is absolute standard. I have already measured that and the accuracy keeps within 0.4% from value or 0.3% from range respectively in voltage range of 5 to 60 volts I measured. Internal resistance for voltage measurement is 323 kilo ohm. Quite low for digital multimeter but hey analog voltmeters have it even worse. At least uh, you will see less inductive noise. Uh, the display has 4000 counts, so it shows maximum of 3999 or 3 and 999. And we are in German section, of course. Continuity test reacts below 50 ohms. That's really smart decision. This tiny multimeter is really small, so it can fit any pocket. And I would say it is perfect for little humans, sometimes called children. It has 65 by 126 millimeters, so it's the same size as classic DT830. Uh, these DT830s used to be good basic multimeters, but only used to be, not anymore. Manufacturing prices must be lower and lower, so this model has reached state at which I would never buy it again. And if I didn't throw out my maybe 10 years old broken DT830, you would see the difference. Uh, back to the topic. We open the multimeter and uh, strips from lead holes could be insulated better, definitely, mainly because they may touch battery wires. On the other hand, uh, you have no real practical reason to open the multimeter, so if it stays as put, nothing should happen. LED for workplace illumination looks like 3528, I believe. Uh, speaker is standard, so if something happens to it, you can change it easily. Let's close it. Display is readable from bottom and from sides. Only from top it gets worse. But since we mostly look at displays from below, it doesn't matter that much. Here sits indication bar that is backlit by green or red diode. Wall multimeter is controlled by just four buttons. Left is for power 
and as you can see there is icon for automatic power off present. If you want your multimeter not to power off automatically for like uh, more long term measurements you can turn it on while simultaneously holding fans button. Beeping reminds you about what you have done and no icon is present. Next button controls your uh, position lights and beams. Short press for display backlit that only turns off manually or with the wall multimeter which I see as absolute plus or long press for rear LED light. Uh, this light is not that intense and can only serve in absolute darkness, I would say. But it's there. Hold is, well, I don't use it that often personally, but nice thing to have. And the fonts button uh, switches between functions upon boot up. Uh, multimeter is in default in automatic mode. It recognizes what do you want to measure DCV, ACV, bigger resistances, or continuity. Uh, by pressing funds button, you can force any function you want or return to automatic either by going beyond live or by long press. If you want to measure voltage, there is no difference between automatic and manual mode. Response time for voltage measurement in automatic takes same time as voltage measurement in manual. Needless to say, both are quite fast. Let's try it on automatic. 3, 2, 1, now. The recovery time is a little on the longer side. 3, 2, 1, now. And now, if we force it, 3, 2, 1, now. Same speed uh, for the value to come, but significantly faster speed for the value to come out. Now, let's go to beeping. At automatic, 3, 2, 1, now. 3, 2, 1, now. Hmm. 3, 2, 1, now. That depends on your tips. If they aren't that perfect, it will go first through the ohms and then to continuity. But you can always manually switch to continuity for best results. Hertzometer or frequency measurement will not be subject of this video. NCV. This is UPS. Green LED, red LED. There is also live wire detection. Live function tells you about presence of voltage on positive input lead. We shall then connect the positive lead. We don't need the negative lead, just the positive. And now we have this oh, European Union standard. Come on. I need a little help. Yes. So, 3, 2, 1, now. 3, 2, 1, now. Instant. It's instant. So it's single wire detection. Just one safety warning regarding NCV and live. Uh, this detection shall never be used for determining whether wire or object is live or not in order to work with it or touch it. To be absolutely sure, you need to measure it the old way with two leads and also test your equipment before or after the measurement. Current is unfortunately immeasurable with this multimeter. Is it? Well, in case this multimeter would be your last resort, you can grab small resistor that you will use as shunt and measure voltage across your resistor. Then apply Ohm's law and you got current. Needless to say that uh, this is emergency option and not everyday measurement method. So, final judgment. We have looked at this multimeter quite thoroughly and found most of its bright and dark sides. 
Personally, I carry one emergency multimeter in both my cars and in fact they find use maybe a few times a year. This multimeter is perfect for that. And if you have no car or already have multimeter in your car or have carbureted car that needs no multimeter or ride a horse, let's say, uh, then there are even more uses for it. Since it has automatic mode, it should be great for children, as they don't need to fully understand the principles. The multimeter decides just for them. Or it may be everyday carry matter, fits in any pocket and in any palm. In case you would have a use for this multimeter, you can buy it straight from official eShop of Kaiweeds. Link with small discount is in the description below the video. That's all for this video, goodbye and see you in another video. Hmm, three videos in a row, maybe, maybe a video really killed the radio star.